What is up, everybody? How are you doing? Hope you've been well. We are super busy here at the For Love of the Mouse house. We are trying to get ready to go on our Alaskan cruise. So here's what's been going on. Here's how we're getting ready to go on that cruise. I need only you in this crazy world. All right, well, before we dive in, I'm gonna need you guys to click that like button, click that subscribe button, and click that bell icon so you're notified whenever Crystal and I put out a new video. And make sure you are following us on Instagram. Crystal does an amazing job putting all of our awesome pictures and reels and videos and all that stuff out there. So make sure you are following us. Well, now that I got all that out of the way, if you can't tell by what I just said earlier, we're going on an Alaskan cruise if you didn't know. We leave literally at the time of filming a week from today. And it's been pretty chaotic because let me tell you, an Alaskan cruise is not like any cruise we have ever gone on. I mean, it involves packing that I've never had to do before, items that I've never had to buy before. Also on top of that, we are leaving out of Canada. So there's things we have to do to leave out of Canada that we normally would not do. For instance, we have to download this app called the Arrive Can app, which is Canada's app. That's where you upload your passport, your vaccination info, all that stuff so that they can verify whatever you need to do to get into the country to go on that cruise. Uh, we've already done that. All our info is already on that. You did, I did it right from our phone. Use the same files I used for online check-in with Disney Cruise Line. And then where you go from there is 72 hours before you arrive in Canada. I go into the app, I fill out the information basically declaring what we're going to Canada for. And I hit enter and it gives me a QR code which I show to customs and customs lets you through. It's ironic that these got delivered today because Disney announced today that as of September 23rd, you no longer have to do a test if you are vaccinated, but we got our tests. That's what we got today. We literally got these from Safe Passage, Inspire Diagnostics. That's who Disney does all their testing through. And it's a proctored test from home. We ordered these 15 days out from our cruise. Uh, we were able to set up a Zoom appointment so Crystal and I both can do it at the same time. It's awesome. Makes it way more convenient than both of us having to do our own appointment. And we pop these out and a doctor pops on and proctors the test, make sure we do it correctly. They record our results and they upload them to the Safe Passage site so we're good to go. Uh, there's also eMed out there that you can do that I know Royal Caribbean does. Um, there is, I think it's called On Point. They use the home test that the government gave everybody and you pay a minimal fee for that. We travel so much so we use our home tests a lot. So we just wanted to keep those. So we just went ahead and ordered these and it was like $3 more for this test than the eMed ones. So we went with these because I'll pay $3 to have them handle my results and then be responsible for them getting uploaded to Safe Passage. So anyway, just kind of ironic that we no longer have to test as of September 23rd and these showed up today. So also with that, um, I'm just getting everything kind of ready, getting things set. You know, I pulled out my earbuds, I got the GoPro, making sure things are charged, making sure we have everything we need. So if something happened on our last trip that I completely forgot to replace, I can get that done. I got time to run to Best Buy or order it on Amazon, whatever it is. Plus just going through the checklist of making sure I did the things I told myself to do. You know, that's like making sure I have rain pants. Never thought I would buy rain pants, but here I am. I ordered rain pants and I have all my stuff laid out upstairs, which I'll show you here in a little bit, but I completely forgot that I ordered the rain pants like back in June, maybe even July, whenever it was, but I forgot I ordered them and they were sitting in our old vlog room and Crystal's packing craft room. I walked in there to get my packing cubes, like there were my pants and I was like, oh man, I completely forgot that I have to take pants on this cruise. I know that sounds wild, but when you go on Caribbean cruises and Mexican Baja cruises, you don't really think to bring pants. <laughs> so I completely forgot about them. Anyway, they're upstairs, got those taken care of. But yeah, just uh, you know, doing the final things of making sure flights are good to go still. I had to buy an extra one of our uh, Galaxy Smart Tags that I've shown you before, because we're taking a third suitcase, because since we're going to Alaska, we got snow boots, <laughs> we got big bulky coats. So we get two bags each with uh, Alaska Airlines. 
So we are gonna take advantage of that and we're gonna bring an extra bag, we'll bring a third bag. And that also gives us room. I'm sure Crystal will find plenty of merchandise to bring home. I know she has a goal of finding sweatpants in every port that possibly say either Skagway, Ketchikan, Juno, whatever she can find. She's a big sweatpants person. So I'm sure we'll be at lots of the little kitschy tourist gift shops finding sweatpants. And I gotta make sure we know what suitcase they're in and where that suitcase is. So I got another one of these, literally just set it up on my phone. So we'll put that up in the suitcase when we go upstairs to see everything. So yeah, that's that's the, the airlines portion of it. Uh, we have transportation set up to get us from uh, the Vancouver airport to our hotel where we're staying. We're staying pretty close to the port, so it'll be nice to just get up. We'll be able to get right on the ship. That's gonna be awesome. Uh, but yeah, we, I mean, we need a transportation to get there. There is a train that goes from the airport to the port, and we could just walk to our hotel from there. But our friends that we're going with, they have a two-year-old, and we were kind of unsure how the train situation will work with him and a car seat and things like that. So it was just easier for us to get a car. So we found a car service that was relatively, really cheap actually, compared to how expensive things are right now. And I priced it compared to an Uber and it was really good. So, I mean, the fact that two of us are splitting that made it pretty easy decision to go ahead and do that. So, I mean, confirm that the car is good to go. You know, that's just something that usually I don't worry about because we're going out of Port Canaveral and we can just do a Disney transportation from a Disney resort to the port, no problem. But different port, different type of cruise, so a different experience. Gotta make sure I'm on top of it. Anyway, let's go upstairs. We'll go over the things I got laid out that I'm gonna be packing and what is different with what I'm taking compared to what I normally take on a cruise. All right, so I am up here in our guest room, which is where I kind of have begun to lay out what I'm taking on the cruise. Um, Crystal's got all her stuff in the craft room, which she's doing her whole Crystal style pack with me video that you guys love. So you got that, but then you'll get my little synopsis here that I'm doing of what I'm taking because I'm taking things I never thought, like I said, I would take on a cruise. So as I said, we are taking an extra bag with us. That's this blue one right here. You see, we'll put our boots, our big bulky coats, and that'll be our extra room for merchandise and all the sweatpants from all the ports that Crystal can find that she's gonna be bringing home. I can't even imagine how many pairs of sweatpants she's gonna buy. But then that big gray one, that'll be my suitcase that I'll be taking and then got my carry-on right there. But anyway, here's what I'm taking. So I mean, normal stuff like I would take on a cruise. I'm a big polo shirt guy. If you've been watching this channel or following us on Instagram, you know I wear my polo shirts, I love them. So I got all my polo shirts here, that's normal. Shorts, that's normal. I think I'm gonna be okay most days in Alaska because I shovel snow here in Colorado in shorts. So, I mean, I think I'll be okay, but you know, who knows? We got t-shirts, of course. I'm actually taking dress clothes because I'm going to be eating at Polo, so I got my dress pants, dress shirt. If you watched our weekend vlog, uh, this is the shirt that I had to exchange right here. So I just got a couple different options. Um, Maybe on formal night, I'll wear whatever I don't wear to Apollo, I'll wear to formal night. So a couple different options there. Got our gimbal because we are going to be going live uh, from Alaska, either at the port when we leave or somewhere. Somewhere we'll go live. I've been wanting to go live, so I'm gonna do it. Then those are all my packing cubes. My hat box that I've shown you before in the what's in my bag video. But what's different is here is a massive coat. <laughs> That's what's in this bag. A big old two layer rain jacket Columbia I guess we'll call it a winter coat, but that I stuffed in this compression bag because I was worried about how, how much room it would take up. But I mean, this compression bag fit a 3XL Columbia coat. That was crazy to me. Like, and it's, I know there's a little bit coming out of the top, but a huge coat fit in this little bag. That's just amazing to me. I love it. And here I got like a light rain jacket that I got. Uh, and just a couple camera accessories that I put in there as well, just to make sure we had them. Uh, these right here, I usually take a couple just in case I need them. All my friends tell me to take layers. So these are all my long sleeve shirts I'm taking. Gonna make sure I have layers. You just never know. If worst case scenario, I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt and some shorts on the deck. Cool, I'm fine with that. I wanna make sure I have lots of layers. So I got lots of t-shirts, lots of long sleeves, lots of polos, plenty of layers. And obviously the jackets. 
And here they are. My pants, I told you, I almost forgot. Completely forgot that I bought these and saw them laying in Crystal's craft room. Luckily, you just grabbed them. So I got my pants, I bought these are like fishing pants, they're waterproof. For one of our excursions, I think I'm really gonna need this. So glad I have these. And you'll see what excursion I'm talking about when you watch the Alaska vlogs. And the other part, I'm bringing jeans. I don't even wear jeans around here in Colorado half the time, but I'm gonna take those to Alaska. So yeah, there's definitely things here I would not be taking if we were doing a normal cruise that we usually do. But in Alaska cruise, things get a little different and you gotta wear layers. So I got a lot of clothes. Here we have Crystal, she's working hard. Today is pumpkin spice cold brew day. There it is. All right, babe, what are you most looking forward to in Alaska? Whales, seeing whales all over the place. From our ship, from the whale watching, we're gonna see them from our balcony. I'm gonna see so many whales. So there is all the stuff I'm packing, all the clothes. I got all our normal camera gear, as you saw up there. I got the gimbal, but I got our GoPro. Got some really cool things, hopefully planned for that new GoPro we got with some of the excursions we're doing. I mean, we got, we're doing some really fun excursions. This was a bucket list cruise for us. We started planning this cruise three years ago. So we've been saving to do these awesome excursions that we're bringing to you in these vlogs. And hopefully the fun comes across in the vlogs that we're gonna have because I mean, I'm, I haven't been this excited for a trip in a really long time. And maybe it's because it's the newness of doing something we haven't done before. Like Disney World's always fun. Disney cruises are always fun. But we've never gone on an Alaskan cruise and an Alaskan cruise is something I've wanted to do since college. When I like, I guess you could say learned about them. So being able to do that is really exciting. Being able to record this and bring it to you is just as exciting because I feel like I get to share the fun with you and hopefully it conveys itself across the camera to you, right? That's my little emotional tangent for you guys because this is, this is a really special cruise for us. Like something we at one didn't know if we were gonna be able to do because of everything that's happened in the last few years. And now that we're literally a week away from our ship leaving port, that's, that's awesome. Really excited. Gonna get all the rest of the camera gear charge it up, make sure we got plenty of batteries, memory cards, all that. Cause I mean, I plan on capturing it all. One, because I want you all to share in it, as I said, but also I want Crystal and I to have this trip there on YouTube, on video and on memory cards and whatever to watch over and over again, just because that's how excited I am for this cruise. That's why we started YouTube was to start documenting our trips and things like that. So we could go back and relive those memories and this is right here is like the perfect example of why we have a YouTube channel. So that we can make sure we go back and we watch those memories. Like I said, Alaska is a bucket list cruise. And the fact that we get to go share it with our friends who we met cruising, that's amazing. Like I just, I can't wait. I cannot wait. I know there hasn't been a whole lot the last week or so of videos up on the channel. That's just because that's literally how much work we've been doing trying to get ready for this trip. Like, I mean, I went to the bank today because the Canadian money I ordered came in, so I had to go pick that up. Uh, I had to go get extra money for tipping just to make sure I take care of everybody that takes care of us. And, you know, just a lot of things. Plus, <laughs> we have jobs. So like, we've, been, we've been working and doing all that too. I mean, Crystal's still upstairs doing her job right now. You know, I had, I got done a little early today, so I figured I'd, pop on here and just give you an update what's going on. So anyway, this was kind of a jumbled vlog. I know I was over here, I was over there rambling a lot, but anyway, I just want you guys to know there's a lot of excitement coming. There's a lot of fun coming and I cannot wait to bring our Disney Alaskan cruise to you. We're a week away. We are one negative test away on Saturday, Saturday morning, negative. We're gonna be negative. And then we're flying to Vancouver and we're getting on that ship. Cannot wait again. Thank you all so much. If you haven't done so already, click that like button, click the subscribe button, click that bell icon so you're notified whenever we put out these awesome Alaska vlogs that are coming to this channel. Anyway, thank you all so much for stopping by and for the love of the mouse, never forget that it all started with a mouse. 
We'll see you in Alaska. We only need